so I shared my screen already and hopefully you guys can able to see now okay so last one or two days we are discussing about the about the what DAX queries right DAX expressions and we started with the date and time functions and uh, we started with the logical functions maybe one or two is pending from that we will move to the information functions I'm sure we can complete information today and then we can start the one or two functions from the textual functions also okay so let me open ppt where is the dax functions this one is it opening or not So this is the same PBX file which we have been using from the turn off null curly notification to one second yes yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah. So we we are good with the date and time functions. I mean, I think date and time, and we started with the logical functions. Out of those, we understand what is a true functions, false, not, and function, and then what is our function. And is nothing but the all the conditions should satisfy then only the total will become a true condition like if you have two condition two condition has to be satisfied r is nothing but either any one condition if it is true then whole expression will become the true that is what we have understand so now the next one is the next one is logical functions if condition if error and then switch statements so you know right what is if condition normal you want to check the condition if one column equal to this much I want to print that one something like this so now let's see take any of the column let me check any relevant column Mm. I will check the easiest one. Yeah. Let's say I have a gender statement here. Okay. First of all, I will show you the what is the syntax for the if condition, then you will easily understand. So I'm adding a column now. New column, okay. Yes, so C underscore if condition like uh, if syntax is there if checks whether a condition is met and written a one value if true and written another value if the value is false so as I told you we are in the discussion of the logical functions the so most of the logical functions output would be either true or false only so add some condition for example if I don't have gender column here, but uh, we can add we can add this country column only so English country reason name see this one. We don't have a equal operator here like a uh, Logical test result if true 
so I'm just checking with the Canada then result if true result if true when are the condition matching so what do you want to print on for example I would like to print as a something called like uh, I'm just for understanding I'm giving test okay and else part result if it is a false wherever is not matching then I'm making as a NA I think it will expect numeric values let me try this one okay fine string also is giving proper route now what I'm trying to do now I'm checking the only English country is the name if this country values equal to Canada then what do you want to then print as a test else it is making as a NA that is what my intention now is going for the else part because the condition is false select wherever Canada values you will understand see now test is coming because that is what I'm trying to print if this equal to this then what do you want to print for example if you make it as a something called like uh, capital Canada okay now enter it you will get the same value whatever you are entering here this is for the true condition else part will be NA so is it mandatory here it is not a mandatory because when now writing any expression and now writing any expression make sure that make sure that how many parameters is showcasing one is logical text if condition true if condition false but if you see the if condition false it is in the square bracket the wherever the parameter available in the square bracket that is optional either you can give it or not giving also by default maybe it might be taking the blank values let me check for example Australia see now it is going I think we have something wrong with the expression now yeah 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 so English country is name I'm pasting like this enter it since I given the no, I have not given the else part let I'm just curious to see what will take the this one for example France it is going for the blank value so if you want you don't like to display blank value you want to customize then include the well else part then include the else part so that is what about the if condition if condition <clears throat> now let's remove this filter let's remove this filter let me make it as a sort ascending order now let's say I am going to add a one more column the same if condition only I'm going to give the exam because if is regularly used one let's try to understand okay um, C underscore nested if nested what is the meaning of nested if inside a if there is a one more if for example if we'll go we'll try to print based on this column because it's a numeric column for easy to understand also wherever geography equal to one I would like to print as a one one like characters wherever two is there T W O two T H R E three something I'm trying to print it so that you guys can easily understand where geography key equal to 1 then what do you want to print 1 else part for example as I said it is a NA close it okay enter it now look at this one look at this last column the first record here the first record as you can see clearly 1 is there wherever one is there I'm printing as a one rest all the cases printing as a NA that's why the first one is coming as a one rest all coming as a NA 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 something like this so what I'm trying to say I would like to add 
again one more condition wherever 2 is there here print as a TW or 2 THRE 3 F or U or 4 something like this like multiple if condition can anyone tell me the syntax where to change and how to change it so this first condition we don't have any changes Abai, can you give a try? Midin, are you there? I think people are muted and getting ready for office. Am I right? Yeah, bye. Okay, you are speaking. Ah, uh. I'm not able to hear any of you guys. Are you guys able to hear me? How about others? Bharat, Priya, Midun. No, can anyone unmute and speak to me? I, I want to make sure that uh, I'm audible. I mean, your voice is audible to me. Yes, I'm. Yeah, Priya, I can enable. Hello, you. Bala. Yes, yes, I can enable you. Hey, yes, sir. Tell me, anyone, any one of you, what is a nested if condition? My requirement is very simple. Wherever 2 is there, I want to print as a TWO2 here. One more condition. Can I start one more if condition here? Uh, else if. Else if, okay. We don't have a relevant function here, else if. So, if else also we don't have it. So, we need to use one more if condition, Barat. So, if. Tell me, what is the one more condition? same <clears throat> geographic key yeah. equal to 2 comma then what you want to print comma else part also else part anyhow always will be na and uh, here two. make sure you are closing the brackets you are closing only this if condition only we need to enclose a one more see as as soon as i closing this one there is a little bit uh, Highlighted here gray color. I don't know how many of you are recognizing this one So like this also you can understand which bracket we are closing for example when I put only one bracket now see where it's got highlighted Are you able to see this one here this bracket got highlighted So that means still it is open. This one is still open. You need to close it So like this also you can able to understand now click on enter So now we got the one and two also so this is okay when we have the one or two condition if you try to validate for example if customer belongs to so on so region then we need to ignore him something like this one or two conditions is okay but when you have the 10 condition then you can imagine right how much code will be repeating how much code will be repeating for example for example i'm adding one more if condition if Geography key equal to three comma So one more bracket has to be closed and enter it So like this we need to add the like uh, n number of if condition within a if one more if condition But the only thing is the code is repeating each and every time see this one geography key Again, if logical function geography key again logical function geography key So if that is the case if you want to avoid the switch Sorry, if you want to avoid the if condition Then we need to use a one more that is called as a switch condition switch statement, okay? If if you ask me switch is nothing but alternative for the nested if If you have only two condition you can straight away go for the if condition 
if you want to validate more than two conditions then i would suggest to go for the switch condition so switch is nothing but alternative for the nested if condition so let me add a new column c underscore switch equal to swi tch switch what is the expression <coughs> now what is the value one result one value two result two and so on so else part will come into picture tell me what is the expression now same geographic key only geographic key only comma if the value is one then what do you want to print O only comma if value is 2 comma TWO and comma values for example I'm giving as a 5 I'm ignoring 3 and 4 comma 5 make sure we are adding the else part also else any that's it so now check this one is the both the values are matching 100% matches 100% matches here we given as a 5 but there we given as a 3 but if you see the first two it's matching 1 1 2 2 but only thing is the code is not repeating it's easy to understand also but if you go to nested if uh, here now it's difficult where we have started where we are ending so it's difficult to understand also to simplification or avoid the nested if you can go for the switch condition so wherever required you can use it for the if and switch condition anyone has any questions till now can we uh, do it for all the numbers all the numbers means like one two three four five yeah, yeah without uh, in extending the formula like you know each number mm, no that is difficult so without writing switch conditions we can't see wherever one is there we need to print one two three four five something like this we need to give the expression so do you have any other programming language no idea so i just wanted to know yes yes we need to write the expression okay the next one is the only one is pending that is called as a if error if error messages so when do you get the error messages if any condition may be syntax errors or it can be reason might be anything but uh, it may fail sometimes In that case if you express it become failing automatically the whole column values will become a wrong values or you may not populate the value also so in that case always good practice let me have any integer columns i will go to fact table okay so here i have a new column let's say c underscore if error equal to first see what i'm trying to do first see what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to you know there is a order quantity just multiplication into sorry unit price to get the total sales amount okay now assume that i'm getting one more extra column that column name i'm giving is if error i mean the column is is not that much relevant now as you can see here this column is nothing but a multiplication of the two column values. If you want to see the column values, I will showcase. So this is what the unit price. This is what the order quantity. These are the two columns I'm multiplying and deriving this one. Deriving this one. Let's say, let's say due to some reasons, while this four has been working fine here, as in there some junk data is available. Okay here is not able to multiply these two values even though every data has been populated only because of this wrong data 
every expression will become failed. So that case what you can do okay That case you can add as a if error if Error listen carefully read the description Returns value if error if the first expression is an error and the value of the expression itself otherwise so to be simple Two parameters one is the value. What are the column? What are the expression we are trying to do? What is the expression? I'm using here after quantity into Unit price will be my expression or my value Value if error message something goes wrong Okay, something goes wrong. I would like to print as a minus one. That's it The whole expression will not will not fail the whole expression will not fail because we don't have proper data. I mean we have data is properly aligned, but I'm just giving the worst case I will do one thing so give me a minute. I'm adding one simple example For example test table Column 1 column 2 column 3 here. I have 1 2 and 3 Maybe 10 10 and 13 so this one I'm just making as a 0 1 and 5 listen carefully I hope everybody know that divide by 0 error correct there are pending changes in the query you can apply it take the new table which we created okay listen carefully I'm adding as a new measure <coughs> For example, I'm adding as a division Let's say C2 No, we, we need to give the table name also for example I think I added measure right Yeah, yeah, so So I'm adding as a new measure sorry new column Just like I wanted division division is nothing but C2 Okay divided by C1 This is fine 10 divided by 1 will be 10 only 10 divided by 2 will be 5 30 divided by 3 equal to 10 only so now I'm adding as one more extra column Same division 1 Equal to for example like c3 divided by c2 Anything divided by 0 then we need to go with the c2 <laughs> Now see this one why infinite is coming in the first row What is the formula here c2 this value Like uh, first will be 10 divided by 0 obviously you will get a say Anything divided by 0 equal to infinity. We have been reading this one from the 7th or 8th standard correct or not and uh, Second option would be 10 divided by 1 will be output will be 10 and third will be 30 divided by 5 Equal to maybe uh, some decimal values 5 will be coming or 6 5 6 or 30 So now this is what it will be treated as an error message. Let's say that if the customer asking boss I don't want to display infinity. I Don't want to display infinity. Can you replace with the some? Uh, minus 1 or 0 something like this. So then This is where you know you need to use if Error What do you want to display minus one enter it see now? Now is becoming minus one value. So this is how wherever applicable If error is nothing, but it can be any reason it can be any reason with the time of division as in that one column for example Okay, if you keep on talking it will be you know never-ending These are the two example I given Wherever some conversion error message comes that time also you can handle it if error messages
so with this one we are good with the logical functions true and false not or uh, and and so we are good with the two category next one would be move on to the information functions anyone has any questions till now so only two category only completed so the next one is varies information functions so information functions also i may not be covering all the functions like i will cover like whatever important and very easy to understand okay now so for example is even okay first i will target the easiest one is blank is something and all like if you see this one is very easy to understand if the column having any blank values or any error message or even number or non-textual columns number column we'll, we'll see one by one okay so is blank is even is logical okay we'll try to understand this much let's see later on verse okay so this i will rename this one what i have done if error logical functions if error function so the next function would be like uh, is number is numeric something like this now i'm adding as a this one only or i will make a new copy duplicate see actually it is not required but when i sharing this file with you guys you can able to easily understand okay so information functions and close and apply so now also you can go to the information functions now see you will get only original columns only sometimes it will not refresh The first one is new column. Am I going to new measure yet? I still in the new column. Okay. So is blank value equal to is blank of column name, for example, C1. Close it. So why we are getting is everything is a false? In the column one, we don't have any blank value. In the column one we don't have any blank value for example now i would like to add a one blank value for this column number c1 i want to modify the same data existing table data is it possible to modify the existing table data then tell me eight queries yeah where to go how to modify it first of all i need to go to the table information functions right side there is a settings option here okay here there is a settings option so double click on that it will go to the again design mode so here what i want is i would like to add a one more row but other values are there but only that particular row is having the blank value now the same way i would like to add the one more column as well like for example c4 a b 5 like a mixed values 
and six click on okay button now close and apply okay fine so now listen carefully why the true is coming in the last row sorry why this row is having true because the expression if you see if the column one having any blank value then display as it true because it's an information function right for example whenever you are seeking some information from others you are asking can this bus go to the chennai or not if he knows he will say yes it will go or no yes or no something like this the information or logical function most of the functions are yes or no answer categories so that is what about the is blank okay i'm adding new column yeah is even same number for example c1 whether is even number or not the first one is false because it is a odd number it is a odd number wherever odd number is there it will print as a false so that is what about the even numbers so what else we have it is is error also available is logical is number we'll check easiest one is 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 number equal to is number of c1 any column you can take i'm just going with the c1 so now this one you can see everything is a number except last row because last row we have a blank value it is not a number same way if i change it to c4 you will able to understand see now the false 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 can anyone tell me even though we have 5 and 6 why it is going for the false is a number right any guess no the reason is very simple select this column go to the more line check the data type yes or no so simple reason is very simple if that column is a text by default it will print as a text only like a false one it is not a number it is not a number if it is text automatically it will become a false only see text contains numbers also right text contains numbers also so that is what about the is number and uh, same function is error also you can apply it i will add extra columns sorry i think my, my i'm eagerly waiting for message seems c underscore is error is error i will showcase with the same example in this table we don't have any error message is uh, text also available is so you can see this one the is is nothing but something is text is there is empty is error is row is filter there are a couple of things available so is text for example t1 what is output do we have any text in the c1 column sure so for example let's say c4 suppose to get as everything as a true so you know because it's text column right it is a text column that's why it's becoming a true if it is a text column then it will become a true or else false will come into picture so probably last one we don't i don't want to waste and this category particularly so is non text also available is non text of c1 what is a non text of c1 what 
what is output of this one for first record is it get it true or false why true it is a non text right it is a number opposite to non text obviously number only will become a true values here okay I'm saving this one if you see the PPT we have a couple of more functions contains custom data and the lookup value and username these are all very 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 important contain function and lookup value but this two will be I will cover as part of filter section as part of filter section actually supposed not to come in the information section but anyhow they listed here these two will be remember and ask me if I forget also the contains and lookup value is very very important please make a note of this one okay so that is what about the information functions let's move on to the textual functions textual function before moving here is a very very important topic this also anyone has any questions yeah okay perfect if you guys know little bit uh, you know like normal uh, english then textual functions very very easy for example I want to find the length of the column. Okay. I want to find the length of the column. And let me go to textual functions here. Filter. So I think it's the last one. Okay. There are many, many functions available. One is a length function. For example, you want to convert the column into lower case. Or uppercase lowercase or uppercase see this one and for example trim function you have some spaces before or after or in between you can go for the trim functions for example a replicate you want to repeat the column values for five times then you want to replace wherever null value is there you want to replace with different values anything for example mid value in between you are looking for something values then there is a concurrent operation and there is a code function blank so these are mainly used one okay so let me start with simple functions today the pending will be continued by tomorrow clear so next one will be i'm using left function and the right functions trim also we can use it no problem trim function yeah repeat the function also is available replicate or repeat whatever you can upper so lawyer functions so we'll try to understand easiest ones today okay so for this one also for this one also I need to have a one more separate table let me make a copy of this one for example I will copy dimmed it how to make a copy go to edit queries uh, this textual columns we have many columns here text functions okay also, I think uh, we can export some of the columns. Choose columns. City, state, country, postal code. I think five columns is enough. Close and apply. Where is my table? Text functions. So now simple for example in uh, United States how many characters available or for, for example city column how many characters available in that case add a new column <clears throat> C underscore length column equal to there is a length function here len and column name for example city tab close it enter it 
so as you can see here eight characters this completely a l h a m b r a and alfina a l p i n e six characters here so that is what about the length of the column what are the column you want to filter it you can apply that column into the expression here now for example new column the smallest functions would be uppercase equal to upper for example city or country whatever maybe you can take it now everything will be converted into uppercase copying the same expression right click Loic function Enter this one So listen carefully. This is what the actual column the first character coming as a capital of each word But which is not happening in the lower case everything has been converted into lower case and uppercase So that is what about the lower and upper cases Anyone ping me? Fine. So the next one is new column <clears throat> C underscore. Uh, before trim, I will replicate. I will tell you why I'm going for replicate. Equal to repeat. Okay. What is the text you are going to repeat and number of times for example, I would like to repeat the text called hi How many times five times and close it? Now are we getting any space in between no right Let me make it a small I and giving one space two space and three space click on the enter now try to understand are we getting the spaces or not? So depends for example if you give the more space that space will be occupied here See now we're getting as a more space So now on top of this one I'm going to apply the trim Then you guys can easily understand right now you understand what is the repeat function, right? So repeat is nothing, but you can repeat for example instead of high instead of high if you say city value Automatically city value will be I Think uh, this double code is not required This is a column values, right? That's it same city value. You can see this one It is repeating five times here something like this. So that is what about this one here also if you want to get the space Can anyone tell me? Double course Okay, double course in space like this Okay, fine Tell me still is not No uh, After city I think you need to put a comma and then yeah comma is not required we need to put uh, and symbol Because it is a dynamic column value okay. it is a hard code value same Excel yeah, now Same it's Excel like, uh... Now you will get as a one space here as you can see clearly we're getting as a one space Same way here also if you give in the more space You will get as a more space here also Now assume that Let's move to the, our simplest example. I'm just taking as a Single quotation Sorry double quotation. Hi, I'm just printing. I'm giving like this On top of this column on top of this column, I'm going to apply the trim function Everyone know that trim is nothing but Trim I'm sorry C underscore trim function to remove the unwanted spaces To remove the unwanted spaces on which column C underscore Replicate because that is a column we have spaces right so that we can easily understand now tell me is it removing spaces or not 
if it is a yes then why we are getting still one spaces in between you should remove it's everything always, right leave the no one space is always always leave okay okay for example i'm adding before also before high also there is space now so this one you can see replicate before also space is coming but trim is not coming because keep in mind trim will okay. remove the spaces but it will keep one space it will remove the spaces but it will keep the only one space in between that is what about the functionality of the trim so the next one is so we had done with the left function no length is done lower and mid replace replicate right is not there such is this. so okay so we'll continue with the what is the left function and uh, right function and mid function so three are very 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 close functions if you understand one function is very easy so right click on this add a new column c underscore left left off what is the text for example i'm taking as a country name english country reason name okay comma number of characters you want for example i want only four characters okay tell me one thing how it is working here is it taking first four or last four this is what the column i'm taking country names country column so it's taking as a unit because starting from the beginning by default not a beginning is the left side left side start from the left side go next to four characters and display it that is what about the left function and if you say like a 10 you will get as a 10 characters keep in mind space also will consider as a one character that's why it's coming as a including space here space also will come in considered as a one character the same way the quite opposite one you will say seven is enough united new column c underscore right is there right of english country is the name and five characters united states right states will come as a uh, i think six just for our understanding that's it so i think for this one no need to give the explanation start from the right side go backward six characters and display it okay and uh, probably last function of the day c underscore mid function equal to mid of for example whatever left and right left will be starting at the starting from the beginning right will be starting from the end of the beginning and mid function if you want to search in between then we need to use a mid function text which column you are going to search it or looking for english country reason in column i'm starting from the starting position for example let's say start from the first position and go number of characters next seven characters and close it understand very careful now you know it is coming because because start from the beginning because that's what i mentioned here starting position should be first character and with the from there go to the next seven characters let's say if i give as a eight or nine to start from the seventh character yes i think seven eight will be space ninth will be state so listen you n i t e seven will be the d correct or not sorry seven will be the space eight will be the yes states will come correct or not so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to say start from the eight characters start from the eighth character go next to seven characters anyhow we have only six only states that's okay it will go to the till end see now 
state is coming so that is what about the mid functions so rest will be continued tomorrow length is done left right function mid also done replicate and trim upper and lower that's what we understand till now length lower replicate trim left okay so rest we can continue tomorrow most probably it will go another four hours or even five hours also if required dax queries okay okay guys i'm just closing if you don't have any questions go to drop